Hi, this is Mike Passaccio, Director of Marketing and Communications with Cavils. This video will take a look at Cavils Journalytics Medicine and Predatory Reports platform, our newest resource dedicated to the medical research community. Journalytics Medicine and Predatory Reports provides in-depth information on over 7,000 hand-verified medical journals and more than 16,000 predatory journals. It's the complete tool to help medical researchers discover, verify, and evaluate medical journals. Journalytics Medicine provides publication information, submission guidelines, detailed metrics, and historical trends. All the tools needed to verify journal legitimacy, target the perfect journal to maximize the impact of research, or measure the value of faculty and employee research. Our team of trained specialists evaluate each journal selected for inclusion in Journalytics Medicine and hand verify the information we report, saving time and effort for researchers, librarians, and administrators. Let's take a look. Journalytics Medicine and Predatory Reports is a fully integrated database, providing a comprehensive view of the landscape of publications in the different areas of medicine. Browse our entire journal catalog spanning 37 medical disciplines, or use our filtering system to meet specific search goals and find information on both legitimate and predatory journals. Our default display shows journal summaries with the journal's title and publisher, publication frequency, and its type of access. The summaries also show a heat map depicting a journal's discipline strength, or our MedSci metric, as well as a snapshot of additional metrics from our partners looking at measures of a journal's citation context and online attention. We'll take a closer look at these in a moment. Click to expand our Journalytics journal cards to learn more about a journal. Here, we have a bit of a closer look at the journal's metrics, again, measuring the journal's relative discipline influence, its citation support, level of online attention, as well as, as a look at its access model. Learn more about the journal here with discipline and bibliographic information, sponsorship information, if any is available, as well as ISSN information and contact details, along with a bit more about the journal's mission here. We also have helpful links. This one to the journal's contact information. And at the bottom right corner, we have a link directly to the journal's website in case you'd like to have more of a look. Now we can dive a bit deeper into the different areas of publication to learn a bit more. By clicking the Disciplines tab, we can learn more about the journal's MedSci score. MedSci measures how influential a journal is in each of its disciplines by measuring the citation activity of the journal against other journals publishing in the same disciplines. That's the key element of this metric. It's a discipline relative measure, meaning it gauges how a journal performs in terms of citation activity when compared to other journals publishing in each of its disciplines, adding much needed context to the process. Citation patterns vary across different disciplines and MedSci allows for an apples to apples comparison with respect to citation activity. By clicking the Topics tab, we can see a reflection of the journal's discipline influence or MedSci score at the topic level, giving a closer look within a journal's disciplines at specific areas of study. Next, we can take a look at the journal's Cite Index score, which adds context to a journal's citations. We're excited to partner with Cite to provide the Cite Index score based on smart citations, which use deep learning to provide context to a publication citations and a classification describing whether it provides supporting or contrasting evidence for the cited claim. Cite measures how supported a journal's articles are. We aggregate the information out to the journal level to give a top level view of how a journal's articles are used and interpreted by the community that relies on them for a sense of the culture surrounding the publication. We also partner with Digital Science to provide altmetric report scores, which track online mentions of academic research. As with our site index, we aggregate altmetric data to the journal level, a process unique to Cavils, and find a measure of central tendency for the publication to identify which journals tend to output the highest impact into non-academic channels. Altmetric data is useful to track who is saying what where about research from a journal as soon as it is published without the need to wait for citation activity. This is also a useful indication of the marketing strength of a journal and how well it's targeted at people outside the research sphere.
Next, we have information on the journal's access model, its recent publication history, as well as key details on rights, fee structure, and automation, automation processes, which characterize how this journal operates within the open access framework. Here, we have information and links on areas like article submission guidelines, any fees, publication timelines, and acceptance rate. This information is provided to us by the publication, and as some journals provide more information or have more streamlined and trackable processes than others, we'll have more data available to us for some publications than others. We'll include as much information as we have for each publication. To a large extent, what makes a quality journal boils down to the element of peer review. For it to be recognized in the medical community as legitimate and impactful, a journal must have a robust peer review system in place. We'll provide any, any information we can on the journal's peer review system, including the type of review and number of reviewers, whether they screen for plagiarism, and an idea of timing for the process. Navigating journalistic medicine and predatory reports to perform journal discovery is obviously a very important part of our process. In this search box, users can search for journal's title, discipline, topic, or other keyword, or ISSN, which is an effective way to quickly locate and learn more about a particular journal. To browse Journalytics Medicine by discipline, topic, and our other available filters, click Filters next to the search box to display the options. Here, users can filter by discipline or topic, one of our metrics measuring citation activity or online shares and mentions, type of open access, and several other data categories we provide. Journal search results can be sorted by several of the data points we provide in ascending or descending order. Moving on to the predatory side of medical publishing, which is unfortunately an enduring and evolving problem, we'll take a look at predatory reports. While advancements in digital publishing have made it easier than ever to launch and operate medical journals and have done much to advance the democratization of research, they've also made it easier than ever to create fake journals that exist only to make money by collecting some form of submission fee or quote unquote processing fee. These journals sometimes hold research hostage until the fee is paid, refusing to publish or release it back to the author without payment. These are the types of journals that are often referred to as predatory. The obje objective of these journals is to make money, whether it's in collaboration with authors who want to beef up publication records on their CV or job application and are willing to pay an APC to accomplish that, or if it's at the expense of an unsuspecting author who submits their work without realizing the true nature of the journal. Despite the fact that some legitimate and potentially valuable medical research appears in predatory journals, it's work that is marginalized due to the nature of the publication. Our journal evaluation team have identified over 70 behaviors that indicate deceptive activity and that are used to flag deceitful and potentially exploitative operations. Each entry in predatory reports provides identifying information for the journal, as well as a comprehensive report of each behavioral indicator that was uncovered in the publication's evaluation. Our minimized journal summary cards list the publisher and title of the journal, along with the date of the initial review of the publication, and a link directly to this journal's website. Hover over the violations graphic on the left side of the card for a preview of the categories and severity level of the behaviors our evaluation uncovered. To take a closer look at the publication, click the summary to expand it for more detail. Here, we list identifying information for the journal, including the disciplines the publication aligns itself with, ISSN information, if any is available, and launch date. Predatory journals often don't adhere to publishing in any specific discipline, so predatory reports is unstructured in terms of disciplines and topic categorization, but we include the information for search purposes. Here, we have a summary of this publication's violations broken down by categories which are color coded based on the level of severity, severe, moderate, and minor and includes the number of violations found within each category. At the bottom right of the journal cards, we once again have a link directly to this journal's website, but we do recommend caution if you decide to visit a predatory publication's website 
as they sometimes contain a variety of malware or tracking software. We also link to the criteria we use to evaluate, evaluate potentially predatory publications. Clicking will bring you to the complete current version of our criteria, which are reviewed and adjusted as needed as we notice tactics used by predatory operations evolve. Our predatory reports criteria are broken down into tiers based on level of severity of the behavior and also categorize within the tiers to track areas like peer review, integrity, fees, and business or publication practices. Our violations have a weighted scoring system based on the level of severity, and once a journal crosses a certain threshold, it's designated as predatory. We've designed our evaluation system to not classify new journals, journals from developing countries, or journals that are simply of a lower relative quality than others as predatory for these reasons alone. Jumping back to our summary for this publication, a user can take a look at a more detailed breakdown of the journal's predatory behaviors by clicking the Violations tab. To pull up a complete report of the publication's activity displayed by category or level of severity. Thanks for joining us to take a quick look at our new Journalytics Medicine and Predatory Reports database. Visit medicine.cavils.com for more information or to contact us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.